Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the Threatseeker. The Threatseeker is a piece of banished equipment developed by Order of Harmony. They are a human group within the banished. Threatseekers are based on captured UNSC built threat sensors. The Order of Harmony have prioritized the construction of Threatseekers to put their troops on an equal playing field with the alien species of the banished. While brutes and jackals have heightened senses that make them efficient hunters, the Order of Harmony use threat seekers for a similar function. The threat seeker's design is intended to startle enemy forces and elicit a reaction similar to that of a thrown frag grenade. The threat seeker is a vaguely spherical device encased in red painted metal. The device is fired from a handheld launcher. Upon deployment, the threat seeker will impact on a surface, bouncing at least once before activating shortly after. When it activates, the device detonates and emits a single pulse which highlights nearby enemies on the HUD of the user, in a manner much like that of the threat sensor. The enemies must be within line of sight of the threat seeker to be revealed, and that's the biggest difference with this thing. While the threat sensor sticks and can see through the environment, the threat seeker must be within line of sight of the device in order to highlight enemies, so this thing cannot see through the environment. Interestingly, the Threat Seeker has what I assume are banished symbols on both sides. Moving on to stats, you can hold up to 4 charges, and when an enemy is spotted, they're highlighted for about 5 seconds. The recharge time to launch another Threat Seeker is also about 5 seconds. Another thing I tested is, while the drop wall is transparent, the Threat Seeker cannot see through it unlike the threat sensor that can. And much like the threat sensor, the threat seeker can also see through the shroud screen. And that's a Threat Seeker. Overall, like everyone else was saying, this thing is definitely a waste of space. People, including myself, would have preferred something else besides just another Threat Sensor, but nerfed. I believe the goal of the Threat Seeker was just to make another equipment like the Threat Sensor, but made for competitive play. Well, 343 could have just, well, like, adjust the existing Threat Sensor to something like the Threat Seeker. But, then I'd guess you piss off the people for those that like the Threat Sensor. I will say I think the Threat Seeker does do its job well for what it was intended for, but can be better. So some changes I would like to see on the Threat Seeker is decrease the player spotted duration from 5 seconds down to 3 seconds. The second change I would like to see is instead of the Threat Seeker highlighting and tracking enemies, change the Threat Seeker to essentially the snapshot grenade from Modern Warfare 2019. It literally does what it says. Essentially let the Threat Seeker take a snapshot of a player's last known location. There should be no tracking involved. A team or a player using the Threat Seeker just needs to know if players are in an area or not, and that's it. Let the Threat Sensor track movement. That change alone will further differentiate the two. And that's all I gotta say. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you enjoy the content on this channel. And let me know your thoughts on the Threat Seeker in the comments below. And until next time. Peace. The Threat Seeker is a vaguely spherical device encased in red painted metal. The device is fired from a handheld launcher. Upon deployment, the Threat Seeker. The Threat Seeker? What the fuck is wrong with me?